Hey there everybody, well I've got something really cool to show you guys. This just uh, popped up this morning after I um, made my video about doing the Robbie the Robot model by Polar Lights, which I'm continuing to work on. Uh, I did a, a search around YouTube looking at some, you know, looking for YouTube videos this morning uh, for some more references and things about, you know, other people who have built that model. Try to get some ideas about what they used and uh, you know some of the other things that they found with the kit and everything like that and this video popped up about this Walmart exclusive Robbie the robot that came out from a company called Goldlock now this uh, this particular Robbie is uh, quite a bit bigger than the uh, polar lights model you can see here this is just a really really cool robot toy now the amazing thing about this is that these were listed uh, for $20 uh, the YouTube videos that I saw about doing reviews of this all showed this being, you know, $20 at Walmart. They also have the Iron Giant, for you, for those of you Iron Giant fans, the uh, animated cartoon that's, I really like that, and I like the Iron Giant. They also have that one from the same company and about the same size. In fact, I think the, uh, the Iron Giant's a little bit taller than this one. Uh, but this is uh, amazing for the price. Now, uh, I immediately this morning checked at my local Walmart online, and it showed that they had this in stock. So I went over to check, and they had five of them on the shelf. I wound up buying three of them. Uh, they're on sale right now for $16.99, which is a steal for this. I just think this is amazing. And if you're a fan of Robbie, you definitely want to go out and get you one of these before they disappear. Apparently, they're going to do a limited run. Now, the, uh, the younger children of today are much more familiar with the uh, Iron Giant. You know, kids born in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s don't even know, you know, unless their parents have shown the movie to them, they don't even know who Robbie the Robot is. But people our age, you know, I'm, I'm in my mid-50s. I grew up with Robbie and Forbidden Planet's one of my favorite movies. And um, so uh, it makes sense that the Robbie's kind of still around. It's not as popular as the Iron Giant. Now, they didn't have any of the Iron Giant at my local Walmart. They seem to be all sold out. So that kind of makes sense. But... Uh, so this is it. I brought three of these home for that price. I couldn't beat it. Now, there's a gentleman on YouTube called uh, Robot Hut. And uh, he's made some really cool videos about getting this thing. And there are a few inaccuracies on it as far as the lighting and things like that. And some of the painting details and stuff are a little bit off. But all the basic uh, details that are supposed to be there on Robbie are here on this thing. The chest plate is accurate. The, all the stuff up in his uh, dome is accurate it's just some of its the wrong color so he shows you how to go in and do some modifications on this thing very easy to do you take apart a couple of screws you take the dome off the top and you can get to the lighting boards and everything and the and just by re-soldering a couple wires on the inside and moving them to different spots on the board where he makes a detailed video showing you exactly how to do that uh, you can modify this thing and make it work a lot more accurately um, I'm gonna just do the demo mode on this one here for you Now you can see right away that his uh, mouthpiece here, it lights up in white where it should be blue. So it's an easy matter to take this apart, go, in, go ahead and go in here. He used some of the, uh, uh, the blue, uh, you know, plastic gel and put it behind this thing and, uh, you know, made it light up in blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take it apart and I'm going to repaint this um, with some of the Tamiya transparent blue paint. And then he used a Sharpie marker. You can actually go there, the little line details are on here. He used a Sharpie marker and went in here and, uh, you know, put the black in between each one of those raised bars and made it that look a lot better. I may do it that way or I may just go ahead and paint it and then uh, scrape off the paint on the high spots and uh, just have those light up. But uh, you can take the helmet off. You can take all the, you know, the whole model apart. It actually walks. Uh, it, it's got a really cool walking action. You can see the one over here. I took it out of the box. But the thing that I wanted to show you about some of this stuff, uh, and these are, you know, of course, made in China, so they, they put them together really fast and just things happen. But I'm going to turn both of these on. If you notice first one, this one here, that uh, both lights in the, in the mouthpiece here, they light up and flash in sync with the voice, and that's more correct. Uh, we just need to tint the, um, you know, the, the screen here and make it blue and make that look better, and then this one will be fine. But if you look at this one over here... Uh, only the LED on the right-hand side over here is lighting up. And, well, the, the other one's lighting, but that's the only one that's flashing when it 
you know, in sync with his voice. So we're going to go in there and take this one apart and correct it. Uh, on the bottom of his feet here, it has these little wheels. And he shows you that there's a little problem with these. And the reason, now it walks just fine, but it gets, it, it tends to either move to the left or to the right. And he, and he wants to go in a circle. Now he shows you that taking this apart, you'll see that the little carriages that these wheels sit in. There's a little plastic burr that sometimes sticks up in there that's molded into the plastic. And these little ratcheting wheels here are, are getting hung up on that burr. And if you just simply go in there and remove that little burr by filing it down or whatever a little bit and making sure that wheel doesn't touch it, that corrects the uh, walking issue. And he'll pretty much walk in a straight line after that. I tried this one out on the floor, and sure enough, he wants to hook to the left after a little bit. So I'm going to fix that. But my other plan is I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, Completely redo the wiring so I can get all the lighting correct. Now, on some of these, what he's reporting is that some of them, the uh, the lights aren't coming on correctly at all for the voice part. Like, you know, they're not working at all. So he shows you how to fix that. Um, so I'm going to do that. But what I'm also going to do when I have this whole thing apart, you can see it's molded in black plastic here, which, you know, for the most part, it doesn't look too bad. But Robbie is actually supposed to be a more of a kind of a gunmetal or metallic look. So while I have them apart, I'm going to go ahead and repaint everything. I'm going to repaint his entire body and get them all looking, you know, like the way he should. And then uh, there's a, on the back here, you can see it has this printing down here. And then it's got some embossed, uh, you know, back here where it's uh, under license of Turner Entertainment, which Ted Turner, you know, the old TBS, I didn't think that even existed anymore, but it still does apparently. And they have the license for, for, for uh, Forbidden Planet apparently. Uh, so I'm going to sand that down and get rid of it and just clean it up a little bit. Go in here and paint up some of these little details a little bit better. But uh, Robo, Robo Hut takes you through that entire thing. You can look him up on YouTube. He kind of specializes in little robot toys and robot models. Really cool little channel. I'm glad I found him. Seems like a super nice guy. Especially uh, 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 he's been sharing all that information about how to modify these things and everything. So I really like it when guys share the, um, you know, the, the secret to how to do it. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, for those of you that are interested, I'm going to modify my own here and get them all done and get them all figured out. Then the other two, I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to offer these for sale. Uh, you know, I'm not going to charge a whole lot over what the uh, what the uh, what the basic uh, robot costs you at the beginning, but it's going to take me some time and you know some paint and some uh, solder time and everything and taking it apart. So uh, you know, I'll be I'll have to charge a little bit more than uh, than what it costs, but uh, I'll try to keep it reasonable. So if uh, any of you guys are interested in getting one of these from me, uh, I'll have two of them available uh, probably in the next couple of weeks. And just drop me a comment uh, in, the, um, in the video for this, and, and uh, I'll see if we can work it out that way. Otherwise, you can go to my YouTube uh, channel in the About. You click on the About tab, and it, it should have my uh, email contact there. And you can also find my email uh, over at my Facebook page for how to get a hold of me. So uh, this is going to be really cool. Here's something on the back of it. Uh, he's got a couple of different sounds. Uh, he kind of has a twisting action when he walks and everything. So uh, if you're a Robbie the Robot fan, guys, you're going to want one of these. These are just super, super cool. And uh, let me see. Let's measure how tall he is real quick before we go here. He's, he's about a foot tall, I think. Maybe a little bit more. Hey, he's about 14 inches tall. Almost 15 inches tall. So um, he's not super huge, but he's really, you know, a nice size. And that is just, just beyond cool, guys. I mean, when we were little kids, we would have killed to have something like this. And at that price, you can't beat it, guys. I mean, uh, they're literally on sale right now for $17. So uh, you can't even, you know, go to a movie for that anymore. That That's just uh, an amazing price. And like I said, besides a few of the small little issues here, by the time I get done doing these mods and getting them repainted and everything, it's going to be every bit as nice of an awesome display as uh, as uh, I've seen some of these on, on eBay uh, you know, the metal ones and stuff that are, you know, six or seven hundred dollars. And this looks every bit as good. I mean, besides the color being wrong, like I said in a few things, all the other details on this are, are totally accurate to Robbie. I mean, they're exactly like it and nothing's missing. So this is this is awesome. And I just wanted to make this video to show you this guy, uh, show this to you guys. I'll come back. Um, uh, I'm actually going to work on this a little bit here now. And uh, I'll come back maybe in a day or two and show you how the mods are going and everything. And I'll show you the first one that I get done all modified up. And uh, just super, super neat. I'm really glad. That, you know, I never hear about these things when they come out. I was really surprised that my Walmart had these in stock. Because this came out about five or six months ago. And I thought they would all be long gone because apparently there's going to be a limited run on these things. But uh, 
So there you have it, guys. Thought you might think this was interesting, especially if you're a Robbie fan. Not really a model, but, I mean, we're doing kind of modeling work to it, so it should be a lot of fun. And uh, if, if you don't get one from me, I hope you go out and get one and uh, do this work yourself. I'm going to show you how to do it. And in the meantime, you can go over to RoboHut and uh, check out his uh, little videos there on how to do the mods yourself. And uh, it looks really, really easy to do. Just solder a couple different wires in a different spot, and uh, you're all set. So... Okay, guys, we'll uh, see you again in the next update and be back with uh, working on this one and then, uh, of course, working on the Robbie the Robot model kit itself. We'll see you soon. Take care, everybody, and happy modeling.